Welcome back guys to another video. Today we'll be covering TTS, which stands for text to speech. With that in mind, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, great. As you can see, we're here in the platform. I already have a default text to speech flow already set up. However, though, I'm going to create one from scratch so you guys can see how I built this out. So we're going to name this TTS default YouTube. Now, as you can see, we've got the single block here, and this is an incredibly easy setup. Um, you would start off with actions, open AI, another open AI, and then a file, which is an audio file. And we would click on insert link. So let's start off with the first one, open AI. It's a generated text 3.5 to over 16K. And then right here where we would put the business information, I'm just going to randomly generate one and say, create a made up um, chatbot knowledge base for a dental clinic. As you can see, it's now generating all of the information that the chatbot should know about this made up dental clinic. Awesome. So as you can see, it's now generated all of this information for the chatbot knowledge base. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it right here in the business information. I'm going to save um, the response to a custom field. We're going to choose AI output for this. Connect user to a human. That's fine. Now what you want to do is click on the second open AI. And this is going to be a convert um, text to speech right here. The input text will be open AI because this is what we had as the set custom field in the previous open AI block, if that makes sense. So um, it's going to be AI output. That's the one right here. And for voice type, I'm going to go with shimmer. Save custom response to AI output as well and click on continue. So just to go over this one more time. For the first um, OpenAI block, we save the response to a custom field named AI output. Now, for the second one, convert text to speech, the input text is AI output because it's coming from the first, first block. Now, for here, the output will also be AI output. So it's just, you know, a simple direct flow. Then for audio, we're going to click here and click on AI output. And that is pretty much it. Now all we need to do is publish it and try it out. So let me just preview this in a web chat. Awesome. So let's see what this first message is. Okay, so I don't know if you guys actually heard that, but it says, hello, how can I assist you guys today? So I'm gonna click on actually what I can do is the reason I don't have these earphones in frame is because they're quite beat up, <laughs> but hello, how can I assist you today? That's the first response. And then we would say, what kind of business is this? Then we should get a response back, right? And the reason why that is happening, and this is a great, great situation to be in because I can show you if you're running into this kind of problems, is because this isn't the default reply. So what I would do is, this is called TTS default YouTube, and I'm going to head on over to the settings right here. And what we're going to do is, we're going to make sure that the default reply is being pulled from this. So TTS default YouTube is the one we just set up. So that's the one we're going to select. We're going to click on save. And we're also going to go under integrations, look for OpenAI chat GPT and turn this off. Pretty much what happens is when this is turned on, it pulls the information from this section right here, OpenAI chat GPT, which also has a prompt section in it. So if you're using the default reply from flows, you turn this off. If you're using the de default reply from this section right here, you turn this switch back on. Okay. So with that turned off, we click on save. Go back here and I don't have the clear conversation set up. So what I can do is I can just click on inbox, clear the conversation from there and then we can start all over again. So send flow, clear, clear if I can spell correctly. <laughs> so that's now cleared. We can delete this as well. Why not? And then refresh this. 
Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go over to flows and then preview it again. So let's go here, publish one more time, and then click on preview web chat. Great, so now it should work. So it starts off with, I'm guessing the same thing again. Hello, how can I assist you today? Mm -hmm. And then what we want to say is what kind of business is this? Now get ready to be absolutely mind blown. So we can see it typing and any second now, bam, how quick was that? Let's see what it says. This is a dental clinic. We provide a range of dental services, including team checkups, yeah, yeah, yeah. cleanings, fillings, root canal treatments, orthodontics, and cosmetic dentistry. How can I assist you further? This is absolutely gangster. So as you can see, anything that I type from this point on comes back in voice and it is so good. Like it isn't, it doesn't sound robotic at all. It sounds actually quite natural. I'd say one more thing, which is where are, or it wouldn't have the location, but let's just do it anyway. Where are you located? Where are you located? Let's see what it says. Eight seconds. That'd be interesting. Our clinic is located at Dress's. You can find directions <laughs> on our website or feel free to call us for assistance. Yeah. So How else can I assist you? The reason why it's saying address is because that's what's in the prompt. So if we were to put an actual address in there, we would get that back. But yes, that is um, initially how you would set up the TTS, you know, text to speech. Um, and you can incorporate it, you know, in all sorts of areas in your flow, in your, in your business. I think this is absolutely mind, mind blowing. Um, but yes, if you guys have any more questions, like I said, leave them down below in the comment section and then we can kind of answer that. You can also um, join us on our official Discord. And the team there is absolutely amazing. The community is amazing and they're super helpful at all times. There'll be more videos coming out on this. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one. With that in mind, you all have a wonderful day and let's build some gangster AI chatbots.